Thousands of cats, from 1 to 10 out of every 10,000 vaccinated, develop vaccine-associated sarcomas each year. This malignant form of cancer is linked primarily to rabies and feline leukemia virus vaccines. Because of the risk of sarcomas at the injection site, it's customary for veterinarians to give feline rabies vaccines in the right rear leg and feline leukemia vaccines in the left rear leg. The injection sites are below the knee joint, so that amputation of the lower part of the leg can provide a treatment option in the event that a tumor does develop. The majority of cat owners, however, when faced with a vaccine-associated sarcoma on their pet's lower leg, refuse to amputate to avoid pain, disfigurement, and the cost associated with the procedure. A recent pilot study at the University of Florida suggests that tail vaccinations are a good alternative to rear leg vaccinations in cats. Study results indicate that there are no significant differences in the behavior of the cats that receive vaccinations below the knee and in the tail. All but one cat that received the tail vaccines developed protective antibody titers. The researchers concluded that tail vaccination was well tolerated by the cats in the study and was as effective as vaccines injected in the lower rear legs. The researchers believe tail vaccinations could make surgical treatment of vaccine-associated sarcomas easier and less disfiguring, which could in turn encourage more owners to have their cats treated for cancer. Rather than evaluating which body part is best for feline vaccinations, Dr. Feneke recommends first focusing on the necessity for the vaccine at all. He recommends a talk with your family veterinarian to discuss the difference in vaccine protocols according to the lifestyle of your cats. For more information about vaccine-associated sarcomas and the vaccine protocols, please contact Dr. Feneke at Veterinary Medical Center of Clayton. We're located at 4798 Jonesboro Road in the city of Forest Park. Our phone number is 404-366-4370.